Good morning and welcome to the 1111 meditation. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the phone. Wow, it's bright out here. I think I'm going to need my shades. So I am coming to you live at 1111 Eastern Time for the freestyle meditation. And today I'm in my backyard. And it's nice to be outside. It's really nice to see the sun. Behind me here, you might see this guy. This awesome tree. This is my tree, Ganesha. So please say hello to Ganesha and uh, give him a shout out. And then, of course, your friends. You know these two freaks. Johnny and Bear, the Zen Dogs. This is their domain back here, so I'm just visiting. So I just wanted to take a moment to drop into Divine Flow today. That is our theme for the day for the freestyle meditation is Divine Flow. And thinking about what does that mean? I think right now, you know, we've all kind of got our regular flow that we live in from day to day, and it's been really kind of turned upside down. So um, I think there's no better time to give it to the divine and to trust the universe on this one as we choose our flow for each day. So I think uh, meditation is very helpful in finding that divine flow and why don't we just take a few minutes to just kind of drop in and, um, and meditate and come into our hearts, that heart space that we've been cultivating. So take a moment. Well, hello. There will be there. Take a moment to drop into your heart. Take a couple deep breaths in. And exhale. If you can be outside and be breathing fresh air with me, that would be amazing. If not, I will send you some and send you some of this good, awesome tree energy from Ganesha up here. Deep breath in. Sending roots down from the sitting bones, down from the base of the spine into the earth, connecting with your grounding cord. As you exhale, release anything you don't need. Let it go. Deep inhale. And exhale. And if you haven't closed your eyes, make sure the eyes are closed. Roll them up to that third eye point. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So the challenge for today is to come out of your head and into your heart. That's been our challenge a lot lately, but it seems to be the best way to get through these days and to find your truth, your essence. So think about staying in the heart today and thinking about letting the heart lead the way. When we talk about divine flow, the heart is the brain in this equation, not the head. So rather than for today, rather than thinking about a to-do list or trying to map out everything you're going to do and setting yourself up for potential disappointment if for some reason you don't accomplish everything on that list, maybe for today, why don't you think about, or this is what I'm doing, I'm going to choose to let my heart lead the way. I'm going to choose to follow my heart today. I'm going to choose to drop into divine flow today. And how am I going to do that? Well, before I start a task or a project, I'm going to stop and pause and do what we're doing right now and just 
take a couple minutes to close my eyes and meditate. If I can be outside, love to be outside. What is calling to my soul right now as far as what I could do with my day? I'm definitely feeling that I want to be outside. And as I said that, I heard a bird in the background. I wonder if that's a robin. The robins are starting to come out. Sure sign of spring. What is my heart calling me to do? And then do it. And then don't worry about what's next. Just be in the moment and do it fully from your heart. And then when you're finished, allow the next thing to come by closing your eyes, going back to your heart. What does my soul want me to do next? And just follow that and see where it leads you. I think it's great to take off expectations and to just remind yourself that today you are enough just as you are. You're already perfectly imperfect in every way. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. And trust the flow of the divine. I hope it leads you to an awesome day today. I would love to hear how your day goes if you do follow this divine flow and I will be happy to share how mine goes as well. I'll be back tonight at 7 p.m. for the Kirtan Kriya meditation. And uh, in the meantime, yes, I encourage you, if you can possibly do it, get some fresh air and maybe hug a tree. I'm definitely going to turn around and hug Ganesha. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Satnam, Aho, and Namaste.